Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining me again uh, on Clean Machine Live. We are now coming to you live from Amazon Live and Facebook Live. So you can watch us on Amazon every week, every Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can catch us on Facebook as well at Clean Machine Fit and on Instagram, Clean Machine Fit as well. Or if you're watching this later, you can be watching it right on our YouTube site at Clean Machine Online. Be sure to like and follow and thank you for your support. Before I jump into this amazing study, it's a really good study because it, it tackles something called telomeres and we'll jump into that in a second. But before we get into that, I would really like to thank all of you for your incredible support of us and Clean Machine and the products. You know, I, I started out, I was uh, just another guy who worked in the industry. I was in the natural products industry for over 30 years. And I saw a lot of good things and I saw a lot of things that I didn't care for. And I really wanted to make a difference. Uh, I care about other people. I care about health. Obviously for me, I take good care of myself too. And I want to share those benefits with you. I want you to live the healthiest, happiest life you can. So when I started Clean Machine, it, it, I really wanted to address some things that I was seeing wrong in the industry, uh, especially in the sports nutrition side. So first, I wanted to be first out there with some of the best plants that nature had to offer. I was reading a lot of research and saying, well, why aren't these plants being used by everyday mainstream people. I wanted to bring those plants to market so that more people could gain some of the advantages of these plants where other companies wouldn't do it because they were only focused on profit. Their only consideration was, you know, hey, if the people already know it, if it gives you lots of stimulants or whatever, you know, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to impart really true health benefits to people so that they could gain real benefits from these exceptional plants that really weren't being in the marketplace. So I was the very first to bring DM33, which is a cactus flower. Now, we're still the only ones to bring this cactus flower to market. First to bring ahi flower to market, the richest source of omega-3 and 6 of any plant source on the planet. And I was first to bring lentine to market. Lentine is a water lentil. It's a duckweed. It is the most potent source of protein and nutrition of any plant known. <laughs> Excitingly, it's also discovered to be the first plant uh, in the category that actually contains bioactive B12 right inside the plant, um, which is pretty amazing, thought to be unheard of. And now I'm excited to be bringing you, hopefully very soon within the next couple of days, actually, we're going to be bringing you the very first vegan D3 from organic algae. This is a true 100% pure D3, not a combination of D2 and D3, which you may find in other sources like uh, lichen or mushrooms. This is pure D3, 100% pure D3, the only D3 shown to be compatible one-to-one -one with animal-based vitamin D3. You're going to find that first and only on amazon.com so we'll, we'll be bringing that exclusively to amazon and you can get it there we're going to stay tuned for next week because we're going to be bringing you a uh, special discount too that you can use to grab some of that organic algae form d3 we're the first again we've garnered over a dozen national awards and clinically proven backed by science this has published human studies on it showing it bioavailable uh, increasing um, uh, by 77% within uh, the first week. Incredible D3 results and actually moving people from, from D3 insufficient to D3 sufficient within one week, which is incredible. So I want to say thanks for all you've done because your support of us has gotten us to a point over 100% growth year over year and setting consecutive records in sales over three times. 
up to 200% growth on Amazon. Just incredible. I'm glad you're enjoying that. I'm glad you're telling and letting other people know about our amazing products. And I'm proud to be bringing those and winning these awards that you see behind me for giving you the best that nature has to offer. And look, I'm 58 years of age, natural bodybuilding champion, 100% drug-free, disease-free. That's what I want for you to be able to live a long, healthy, fit lifestyle, no matter what age group you're at. And if I can do it at closing in on 60, I know you can just by consuming the, those right nutrients. So let's jump into this study and see what it's all about. So this, pub, this study was published in the Journal of Molecular Psychiatry. Uh, it was published April um, 20th of last month. So this is a brand new study that came out. So what they were looking at, obviously, in the Journal of Psychiatry is how it affects mood and behavior, but they even went a little bit further and looked at biomarkers of aging. So this is kind of cool because we know, look, we know omega-3 is anti-inflammatory, right? Um, but do those anti-inflammatory effects have effects on our telomeres? Telomeres are, are structures that, um, when, as they lengthen, can lengthen our lifespan or have been associated with longer lifespan. But as they shorten, they are indicators that we will have a shorter lifespan too. Cool. So kind of like the, the genie in the bottle. Oh, the palm reader, I'm seeing you have long telomeres. You're gonna live a long and healthy life. Um, well, that's what we want. We want to see markers of telomeres. So telomeres are those ends, kind of like the, the ends of the shoelace. Have you ever seen those, those little knobs on that? Those are the ends of our DNA. And the longer those ends are, is an indicator of how we're going to live more, not only lifespan, but health span, which is important. Because if you live a really long life, but half of it is in disease states and sickness and suffering, that's not so great. <laughs> It's living a long and healthy life or health span, not just lifespan. That's what we're looking for. So this study actually looked at some of these aging biomarkers. Now, it's actually called a sub-study because it looked at a study and analyzed it for the data. So let's dive into it. Um, so first, the name of the study is Omega-3 Supplementation and Stress Reactivity of cellular aging biomarkers, an ancillary substudy of a randomized uh, controlled trial. Uh, uh, so the RCT, randomized controlled trial. This is what considered the gold standards. It's randomized, so nobody knows what he's getting. It's controlled, so you have a placebo group, and this can give you some really rock solid data because you're, com you're, you're comparing it to people who are not doing anything and then those in the same group and uh, looking at what the differences are. And the differences were really, really stark. I'm, I was surprised actually by the, the amount of difference that uh, was resulted in the study. So uh, what did they look at? First, they took 138 people, um, about 90 plus women and about 45, 50 men. Um, so they gave the, uh, they had three groups. Uh, one was placebo. The second one was uh, omega-3 at uh, 1.25 grams per day, and then at 2.5 grams per day. Now, this is interesting because they were looking at high dose and seeing if there was a dose response curve. A dose response curve means that the higher the dose, the more effective or more positive or negative, in some cases, effects does it have on it. So is there a curve that the more you take, the better it is for you? And this one was unique in that it actually had a positive dose curve response, meaning the higher dose actually resulted in higher benefits, health benefits. So let's take a look at what those are. So this study, um, showed that the placebo group, so they did a stress test, right? Now, when we know stress is a killer, so when you stress the body, it responds by producing cortisol and producing other pro-inflammatory biomarkers that can actually damage cells. 
stress is a killer. It's a killer. And look, we're stressed out. We're stressed out at work. We're stressed out uh, driving home. We stress out at the gym. It's a positive stress, but it's still a stressor. Uh, and then when we get home, you know, we're, we're founded by other things that can stress us out too. So our whole day can be filled with stress and cortisol can be through the roof by the end of the day. That's why so many people have a hard time getting some sleep because that's cortisol. Cortisol activates the brain. Think of it this way. When you stress, cortisol comes out, which speeds up your brain. So you can think very clearly and very quickly. That's a good thing. Because if you have to run away from something that's chasing you and trying to kill you, you want that cortisol making your brain work really fast and sharp. But if you keep stressing the body and it keeps doing cortisol, your body becomes so laden with cortisol, your brain is just buzzing. And that's why people can't get to sleep. And this lack of sleep imparts even more negative impacts on our health. So this stress, and you add stimulants onto it, cups of coffee, coffee, coffee and stimulants increase cortisol. And then by the end of the day, you just can't shut off your brain. It's that busy brain where you just can't stop your brain so that you can get restful sleep or that you dream really intensely and you wake up exhausted. That's cortisol going through there. So this is what they found with cortisol and inflammation in the study. So in the placebo group, when they did the stress test, what they found was that um, anti-inflammatory, it's called interleukin-10. There are a couple of interleukins. Some are pro-inflammatory, some are anti-inflammatory. Interleukin or IL-10 is actually anti-inflammatory. So when they did the stress group with the placebo, they're good anti-inflammatory IL-10 dropped by 20%. Ouch. And their cortisol increased by 20%, 19% to be exact. Now, the pro-inflammatory, this is the bad stuff, the interleukin-6, this is the pro-inflammatory one. It, it was um, in the um, high-dose omega-3, it was Re reduced, this is the pro-inflammatory, the bad guy, right? It was reduced by 33%. Now that's phenomenal. So what you want is to increase that anti-inflammatory um, IL-10 uh, and the stress group and the placebo group actually went down and you want it to go up. In the uh, the uh, group taking two and a half grams of omega-3, their anti-inflammatory went up by 33%. And instead in the placebo, their um, anti-inflammatories went down and their pro-inflammatories shot through the roof. Plus you had cortisol increases. In the uh, omega-3 uh, group, cortisol was reduced by 19%. That's awesome. So you got cortisol reduction going down. You've got uh, anti-inflammatory markers going up and you've got pro-inflammatory markers going down. All of the good stuff that you want. Getting that cortisol and those pro-inflammatory uh, interleukins down and getting those anti-inflammatories up. So this is the direct quote from the study. By lowering overall inflammation and cortisol levels during stress, and boosting repair mechanisms. That's real important too. It not only reduced those stress markers, cortisol and inflammation, but it also increased repair mechanisms during recovery. Omega-3 showed slower acceleration in aging and reduced depression risk. So that's interesting. So there are a couple types of different depression mechanisms going on here. So um, depression can be a, uh, associated with pro-inflammation or a very inflammatory state. And reducing that inflammation can uh, improve those effects here. So that is a subset of those. There are some people that is definitely depression is caused by other things, other biomechanisms in the body. But in the inflammatory group, those improved pretty significantly. So that was very cool. Uh, but the study, interestingly, focused on omega-3 
as an anti-inflammatory. Now, omega-3s are known to be anti-inflammatory, but the, the two omega-3s that most people focus on are EPA and DHA, and both have anti-inflammatory effects. Although there's some evidence out there um, in some of the studies that DHA actually may have some pro-inflammatory effects. That's still up for debate, so I'm not going to say too much about that. But follow up, we're, we're watching that research real closely to, to indicate that. But EPA is very anti-inflammatory. It's actually one of the better anti-inflammatories of the omega-3s. Um, why, personally, I don't take a supplemental DHA and allow my body to do the conversion of EPA to DHA because my body knows exactly what it needs when it needs it, so that that ratio of EPA to DHA is in its exact form. By taking precursors in the plant-based form, like ALA and SDA, you allow your body to make that decision for itself. It converts what it needs to EPA, DHA, or any of the other six omega-3s that the forms of omega-3 that the body needs. That ratio is constantly changing and it changes for each different tissue types, meaning more, a little bit more EPA in muscle and a little more DHA in the brain. So you want those things. But what about the first three omegas? So I'm going to pull up the, the chart here. For those of you watching on Facebook, you can see it on my screen. Uh, for those of you watching on Amazon Live, uh, you might want to check out the uh, video later on our YouTube channel too. You can see this conversion chart, but I'll explain it to you. We start out first with ALA, then it converts down to SDA, then ETA, then, D, um, then EPA, then DPA and then DHA. So that's the sixth change of conversions. And it goes unidirectional. Nice study showed that it only goes unidirectional. It goes from ALA all the way down to DHA. Now, why DHA at the bottom? Because the body wants to regulate DHA very carefully. That's why it's the very last conversion step at the bottom there. Um, because the body doesn't want too much DHA because it can actually uh, cause the, the body to shut down other forms of the uh, omega-3 conversion and cause even a pileup of EPA, which is not necessarily a good thing. So, yes. So what about those first three, ALA, SDA, and ETA? Well, they're not found in fish oil. Now, these are only found in plant sources, like um, different sources of plant materials. But uh, actually, SDA is not found in flax uh, or chia, and only uh, a small amount in hemp. So what is the best source of ALA and SDA on the planet? And that is ahi flower. That is why ahi flower won the next award for best supplement of the year. Yes, <laughs> out of all supplements in the United States, that's the top award in the United States given out at the top trade show for supplements in the world, uh, Natural Products Expo West. That is the top supplement award and we won it twice. Ahi flower, that's what it is. So ahi flower is the absolute best source of ALA and SDA of any plant, non-GMO plant food source known to man. It has a near perfect ratio of omega-3 to 6, uh, 3.4 uh, 3 to 1. So that's 3.4 times more omega-3 than it does omega-6. Now, most people think of omega-6 as the bad guy, right? Omega-6 can convert to arachidonic acid, which is pro-inflammatory. But we need some of that omega-6 called LA. We need some of that converting to arachidonic acid because that stores in our muscle tissue. And when you squeeze that muscle, when you work out with intensity, you squeeze out some of that arachidonic acid. And that acts as a cell signaler to tell our body, hey, come on over here and let's repair and build back up that muscle. So some omega-6 is actually needed for a pro-inflammatory state. That inflames the area and tells the body, hey, come over, let's heal this and repair it. And that's what triggers that muscle growth that we're looking for. But there's also an omega-6 called GLA or gamma linoleic acid. 
Now that is anti-inflammatory. And this is how the body regulates pro-inflammation and anti-inflammation. So we need a little pro-inflammation to signal that uh, body to heal and repair itself. And then we need some anti-inflammation to come around and reduce that inflammation to bring it back down to normal states. It's a nice, healthy balance. And what's amazing is ahi flower is one of the few plant sources that contains actually GLA as well as ALA and SDA. As a matter of fact, it's the richest source of ALA, SDA, and GLA of any plant in the world that we know of that's non-GMO, not artificially <laughs> messed with by human beings in a laboratory. So that's pretty exciting. And remember, fish oil does not contain the GLA and SDA or ALA that is found in this. ALA is anti-inflammatory, GLA is anti-inflammatory, SDA is anti-inflammatory. Now, when you look at that study and showing all those anti-inflammatory effects, bringing down cortisol and lengthening our telomeres to allow us to age gracefully, healthfully, and live a nice, healthy lifespan, well, that's exactly what we're talking about with this. Now, does ALA, GLA, and SDA have an effect on the brain? Because obviously we're taking a lot of omega-3s, not only for muscle growth, which is important there, EPA plays a role in the mTOR pathway, which is how we stimulate and grow muscles, but it also affects our brain probably more importantly, right? <laughs> Nothing works without the brain. So this is an interesting study. This study is called um, Determinants of Fluid Intelligence in Healthy Aging. So once again, looking at healthy aging. Um, so it's omega-3 uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids or PUFAs in the frontal parietal cortex structure. Looking at the frontal parietal cortex, which is part of the brain that what does most of our pro mental processing and our day-to-day -day, uh, thinking. So here's the amazing results of this study. The results of the study, and I'm gonna quote it directly from the results of the study. The mediation analysis revealed that one pattern of omega-3 PUFAs, polyunsaturated fatty acids, consisting of ALA, SDA, and ETA. Now, ETA is the next step in the conversion process. SDA converts to ETA. So that's what's in ahi flower. ALA and SDA both convert to ETA. So those top three, remember, these are not found in fish oil or in algae oil at all. So these three were found to link to greater fluid intelligence, total gray matter volume. That's right. You actually had more brain left at the end of your life. It preserves gray brain matter, that actual gray brain matter. So, you know, you've heard that we our brains shrink as we age. This is actually preventing that shrinkage, that loss of brain matter. That's amazing. And that it was those three omega-3s that are found in plants. They're not found in the animal products. ALA, SDA, ETA, these three in that study showed greater intelligence. And, and I don't know about you, but I appreciate having my intelligence intact all the way through my life so I can enjoy it, my health. But it, it may actually influence outcomes for other more advanced issues of brain function and brain health. Now, of course, as a supplement company, we can't talk about disease states, read the research out there, you'll find some amazing research, including some new research on the microbiome and brain health, which I did last week. So this is amazing research. You know, ahi flower is, is a complete omega-369, which fish and algae are not. It is the perfect ratio of omega-3 to 6. 33% of the omega-6 in it is anti-inflammatory GLA, which is not found in uh, flax or chia or hemp. So you're getting the GLA, the ALA, the SDA in the highest forms possible of any plant. That's why this is such an extraordinary plant and why it won the Nexty Award for the best supplement out of all supplements in the United States in 2016. Pretty amazing study. Uh, great, uh, two great new studies showing the powerful beneficial effects for our overall health, 
even in higher dosages. So, uh, you know, really take a look at your omega-3 consumption and um, uh, check out uh, ahi flour and uh, leave a review. I'd love for you to um, uh, capture some of these health benefits of this extraordinary plant. I am so grateful to be the first to bring ahi flour to market and um, and I will continue to, to do the research and find these extraordinary plants that can bring you the best health benefits possible. And I'll be the first to bring it out there. You know, it's it's been a long slog for me. It's not been very popular uh, in the beginning because it took a lot of education. People didn't understand what ahi flower was. Most people never even heard of it. Um, and you know, I had to go out there and, and constantly, and I've done over a hundred lectures across the United States, trying to get this information out to people to show them, hey, there's a better alternative to fish oil, a better alternative to algae oil, which is only preformed EPA and DHA in their preformed state. You don't get any of the benefits of the ALA, the SDA, the GLA. These are the anti-inflammatory ones that can really positively affect your health. And this is only found in the richest forms in ahi flower. So I hope you enjoyed this talk. I hope that this education brings you value and that in using products like ahi flower, that you can get these health benefits that just are not available from other plant sources. Um, Thankful to bring this to market for you, and I hope you enjoy this. Always, I really encourage people to stay clean, feed this machine the good stuff, and you'll get that fitness that you're looking for. You can have a healthy lifestyle. I'm pushing almost 60 in a year and a half. I am a natural bodybuilding, natural physique champion, in the best health of my life, completely drug-free, and enjoying life. That's what I want for you. So I hope you enjoy this episode. I hope this education brings you positive health. Thank you for joining me and stay tuned next week. Same bat time, same bat channel here on Amazon Live, Facebook Live, and you can watch it later on YouTube at Clean Machine Online on YouTube. And be sure to like and leave some comments and questions. I'll answer every single one of them myself personally. Uh, thanks for you guys watching from Ireland out there. <laughs> and uh, thanks for all of you who have joined me and continue to support us. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next week when we talk about the launch of our brand new exciting Vegan D3, the very first organic Vegan D3 in its 100% pure state from organic algae. Excited to bring this one to you too. Excited to be the first. You're going to stay tuned. You're going to see a lot of firsts from us. We've got a lot of exciting products yet to come. There will be also industry first, best in class. <laughs> and well, I can't share any more from that, but you'll hear about it soon enough. Just keep watching here and, uh, and you'll find out more. Thanks again for joining us.